Welcome. This is Callie Carroll, and you're listening to a special series where we're diving into Rhonda Byrne's book, The Magic, taking 28 days to have intentional gratitude to see how our lives can change. It is a part of Good Morning Sunshines, where we wake up to see that perspective reveals miracles. And guys, I'm telling you, gratitude can change your world. Let's get started. Good morning, sunshines. Callie Carroll here. And I want you to go grab your fairy wings real quick and maybe a magic wand before you listen to the rest of this, because we're going to be doing a magic gratitude dusting today. (laughs) We actually have a bunch of fairy wings from Witten's Wings for Warriors from his fundraiser. I'm not going to go put them on right now, but I guess I could have before I started. Today is actually a really fun practice. And It's very interesting when you take today's practice on how it can make you show up differently to your walk of life. And it's where we're going to take gratitude, which we've been doing for the last 10 days, an intentional, deep gratitude, choosing to find joy through adversity, through whatever's going on in your world, still choosing joy happiness, kindness. And we've been spending a lot of that evaluating different things in our lives to bring in more gratitude and more joy to our lives, which in return helps others. But today we're going to remove that focus from us and we're really going to place it on the world around us. And I just love the imagery of the magical dust. So it's, it is the 10th practice. It's called Magic Dust Everyone from Rhonda Bearden's book. If you guys are following along, we're doing the 28 days together and we're just reiterating things on here. And I'm just going to start off with some imagery because I really do see it as like this like little fairy situation. So when we're choosing to act and live from a space of thankfulness deep in our hearts, which is that full on gratitude that like dives in and makes your chest open up. It's like the best heart opener and your shoulders are back and you're just like, you're just choosing. Thank you. It feels different. The beautiful thing about that is you have the ability to pour that into others, even if they're not here yet. Maybe they're not ready to do this practice with us. Maybe they're not joining along for the magic. Maybe they're still a little bit like lost in their ways and they just don't even know that this is out there for them, but we can magical dust everyone, everything around us. And the imagery that I get is you have this handful of iridescent glitter. It's got to be iridescent. And it's this positive, joyful, like for me, I always see like the high vibration, like when it's in your presence, you just feel good. You just feel warm inside. You feel loved. You feel whole. You feel complete. You feel like you're enough. You feel this just like peaceful joy. This iridescent glitter is just like, oh, it's just exuding this energy. And you get to take that glitter and everyone you pass in your journey today hopefully continuously after this, you get to blow that glitter right under their gorgeous little faces. Just, just, right? And I don't know what they had going on before you did that, but all of a sudden they get to feel the results of what that magical energy, that gratitude, that glitter, the fairy glitter does to them. And it's an unlimited supply. It's not like, oh man, I just wasted all my glitter on that person. This is one of the beautiful things about exchanging and giving gratitude. It is not limited. It is unlimited, abundant, forevermore. It just keeps filling up. You're like, I have so much glitter. I have so much joy to share. Who can I share it with next? Because my hand's full of this glitter. I got to keep sharing it. And if you can go through life and start to do that, the positive effect that you one person is going to have in the world around them can be astonishing. You're thinking, I'm just one person. I can't change people's lives. You have no idea the power that you have today to change so many people's lives with the words you choose to say and the way that you're going to show up. So how do we do 
the magic dust, everyone, practice. First of all, there's going to be in your actual encounters with humans throughout the day. This could be um, at the gas station. It could be at a restaurant. It could be at work. Everywhere where you come in contact with another human, choosing to acknowledge them and say thank you for whatever your interaction with them was. And this is on like the most basic level of the gratitude practice for the magic test, everyone. But it's also something that I see people often just not do. I see people do it as well, which makes my heart so happy. But you know, when you check out at the gas station and you buy the pack of gum saying thank you, and because usually they say thank you to you and maybe you just kind of walk out, but like looking at them in the eyes and saying, thank you for helping me today. Like smile, eyes, contact, that can make a huge difference. That one small interaction that you just chose, the energy you just chose to give that person can change their day. And what I like is the imagery is at that time, you're sprinkling them with your magic gratitude dust and you're leaving it with them. Here you go. Because it's remember, it's abundant. You're not giving them yours so that you're going to walk out mopey and sad. You're giving them theirs and you get to maintain yours. So now this human on the other side is lit up. So there's those interactions. Somebody opens the door for you. Eye contact. Thank you so much for opening the door. A coworker comes by and they help you because you dropped your papers. Thank you so much for doing that. All of the different people that you encounter in life, your spouse, your kids. Thank you for your love and your energy this morning. Thank you for the hugs and the snuggles. Thank you for uh, helping me after dinner, clean up, thank you, whatever. Each one of those different pieces, having a sincere, heartfelt gratitude for that other person and imagine that beautiful, magical dust going over them. Okay. So that's the easiest form. And I hope one of the most obvious forms of walking through life in a space of gratitude. And I know just maybe for a second, sit back and watch the people around you interact and notice that this is not Unfortunately, a regular practice. There are a lot of encounters and situations where you'll see that there was no thank you exchanged. And you getting to be a voice of change for that. And sometimes like, well, I don't want to do it because not everybody else is. But when you start that, that shift, maybe you don't like the other person's attitude that's supporting you, that's serving you. When you choose to still approach them with gratitude, even though you're like, well, their service wasn't fast or things weren't the best or it could have been different, you don't know what's going on in their world. You don't know what adversity they're facing right now. Maybe they weren't the kindest today. Maybe there was a little bit of lack of customer service today, but you still finding something and looking them in the eyes and saying, thank you. You can make a positive shift in their world because it's contagious. This magical dust is contagious. Okay, so now we're on the topical level. We're going to even dive a little bit deeper. As you're moving through life, taking a look around at all of the different service things, the things that had to happen for you to be where you're at. And even though you can't say thank you to that person directly, still blowing that magic dust on them and thanking them for what they've got going on. I remember the first time I did the magic dust everyone practice, I was just at the end of my street driving literally two minutes away and I passed a full on crew of road construction. And this street had road construction, I swear for five months, we're like, are we gonna ever finish this road? Or are we always just gonna have an extra 10 minute drive because of this previous attitude? Current attitude, stepping into the magic practice, going along, crossing the street and looking at each one of the workers you know, whether they're they're in a, a, a um, tractor or something, or they're doing something on the roadside, or they're holding the sign and just saying, thank you so much for your time, energy, and effort that you're putting in right now to make our road system safe so that we can transport and get to where we need to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And blowing that magical fairy dust onto all of them as we just passed their space. I didn't roll down my windows. Woo woo. Thank you so much for your work. No, I just poured that energy towards them. And for some people that are new to this, that might seem a little bit weird. How are they going to feel that energy? How is that actually going to positively affect them? Number one, you know, it's going to positively affect you because right now, instead of being like choosing to be pissed about the road construction, you're choosing a positive state of being about what the road construction will provide for you in your transport in the future. And you're not the one out there on that pavement in the 95 degree weather holding the sign on the black tar. You don't have, you don't have to do that. They're doing that to keep you guys safe. All of a sudden now you've shifted into this more grateful and open state. So you, you can acknowledge that it helps you, right? 
because pouring magical dust onto other people is going to bring you more joy and happiness in your heart. This is a really cool thing about these practices is that when we give, we receive. This is the basis of the book. When you give, you receive. When you give that joy and that that gratitude and that positivity, you will receive more in your heart. But you are, you are positively affecting them. That magical dust really can, even though you didn't even have words, it can affect their worlds. Maybe you got a little quick smile and a wave. That's awesome. But even if you didn't, it can still positively affect them because you're choosing to bring that positive state of being energy vibration to the world around you. And you can do this all day long. You can do this everywhere you go, whether you're pumping gas and you don't encounter a single person, but still thank you, thank you, thank you for whoever filled this gas up for the person who is inside in case people need support and help for the people that maintain and clean the area so that I can come here and just fuel my vehicle and be on my way. And then you say, thank you for paying for your gas afterwards. Like we learned yesterday. What? Talk about a shift. You go to the car wash, you don't encounter a single person. It's just a touchless car wash you go through. But thank you, thank you, thank you for the person who created this business, who has this here, who's got the water supply and the soap, who manages and maintains it and makes sure that when it breaks down, they come back to fix everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that person. You're lighting yourself up on a continuous basis. You start to live in this ever constant state of gratitude when you are magical dusting everyone else. So whether you encounter a human today or not, you can still do this. If you're at home all day long, like literally you're not even leaving the house, you can still go through and think about yesterday because you're going to try, you're going to do this 10 times, minimum 10 times for magic practice. If you're doing this book with us and count them as you go throughout the day, make sure that you get 10 in. Hopefully you can get way more than that, but you could go through and say, okay, so over the last week, who did I encounter in the service world who supported me in any way? Customer service calls. For some reason, like especially if it's an IT call and something's not working for me, that's where I kind of want to lose my shit. I'm like, oh my gosh, why isn't this program working? Why isn't my computer working? Why isn't X, Y? Like, it's where I get like, pause. Let's just take a deep breath. And I'm going to, I'm going to be thankful for the solution that's going to occur because it's going to. And when I talk to the person on the other end, think about their world and the kinder you show up to the conversation, the more support you're going to get. And then acknowledge like maybe they weren't as helpful as you thought they could have been, but you don't know what's going on in their world again. So you decide to sprinkle them with magical dust no matter what. And that way you don't leave the conversation feeling pissed, angry, and hot about it. Instead, you leave it with more joy and compassion in your heart. And hopefully you leave them in the same situation. So 10 different situations throughout the day. 10 different thank yous, whether it's face to face, try to look at them, try to do the smiles, make sure you're keeping track. Let's see if this can't be something that starts to slip into our world all the time, because now all of a sudden we're thankful for paying bills. We're thankful for the food that we're eating. We're thankful for adversities in our lives. We're thankful for relationships that once were maybe challenging or that we wanted to better and they are improving. And now we're just thankful for everything around us and we're blowing this magical, beautiful, iridescent glitter on the world. And all of a sudden it looks like a scene from trolls. One of the good scenes for those parents out there that know what I'm talking about. And we're brightening the world each and every day. I truly believe as more of us choose to practice this and step into this, this state of being, the shift that we're going to see is beautiful. So make sure you guys are talking about it. Make sure you're sharing about it. Make sure you are practicing your best. And We will continue on with this magical practice as we go through here our full 28 days of intentional gratitude to see how our life shifts. I bet your life is already shifting, reminding you guys that perspective reveals miracles. I love you all so much and we'll talk with you later. Bye. Thanks for joining and don't forget to subscribe and of course, share with your friends. Guys, that's how we impact more lives. All right, see you next time.